The ANC has been active in America for as long as there have been Armenians in America. From the time before the, the genocide, during the genocide, fighting to protest the slaughter, working to provide U.S. relief to its victims, working against the partition of Armenia during the long period of the Cold War, obviously the independence movement in Karabakh, the independence of Armenia itself. Throughout this entire period of more than 100 years, the ANC has been out there fighting, giving voice to the Armenian American community, defending Armenian interests here in the United States. The ANCA believes that U.S. foreign policy should be crafted, should be molded, and should be executed in the United States of America. And we're tired, we're sick and tired of the Republic of Turkey crafting and molding and executing American foreign policy. Everything that we do uh, at the Armenian National Committee and all of our sister organizations comes from a uh, strategy to fulfill our three goals of recognition of the genocide, reparations for the genocide, and return of Armenian lands. Members of Congress want to hear from their constituents, and they don't want to be lied to by high-priced lobbyists. Our job is to counter those efforts uh, by the denialists, and we're succeeding. We're chipping away at that, and it's almost gone. We're only asking for an opportunity for an up or down vote in Congress on the Armenian Genocide Resolution. We're asking the United States to speak with moral clarity on the issue of the Armenian Genocide. Ninety years have passed and we're still being held hostage by the sick man of Europe. I don't buy that and our community doesn't buy that anymore. We're going to turn the tide and, and years from now I think that people will credit the Armenian community as having played a vital role in uh, moving America to the right side of the genocide question. Uh, the United States is obviously uh, a leader, uh, a leading country when it comes to issues of human rights. And I believe that when the United States speaks forcefully about these issues, that it does encourage other countries to do so as well. The Obama administration and those that have proceeded have pursued a flawed and ultimately failed approach to the Armenian genocide. One that essentially outsources our policy on this issue to the Republic of Turkey. One that allows a foreign nation to impose a gag rule on how we can speak about human rights. We will fight for the truth, but not simply in the name of truth. Truth in the service of justice. Of justice. Untitled And justice in the service of the survival of our nation. Our place as Armenians at the table of nations. In 1915, that place was nearly stolen from us. Stolen from us, but we shall reclaim it. We shall reclaim it with our blood and our sweat and our work. We're going to have to take the gloves off. There's simply no other way to get it done. Uh, there aren't many victims of the genocide still left. And if we're going to recognize it while there are some victims still around, uh, this is the year to make the fight. We can say that the Ottoman Empire committed this grotesque crime against the Armenians. But their campaign of extermination failed. And above all, we will never forget We'll never again be silenced. Uh, we're likely to finally acknowledge the horrific Armenian genocide, which I've been fighting for years to do. I rise today to celebrate a bipartisan achievement. An achievement of the Senate, an achievement for truth, an achievement for speaking the truth to darkness, for speaking the truth to evil, for speaking the truth to murder, for speaking the truth genocide. So I have not only joined with my colleagues as a sponsor of the Armenian Genocide Resolution, I have no compulsion to advocate and bring it to the floor of the United States Senate and vote for it when it comes. Nothing will deter me when that opportunity comes I'm up. I'm thankful that this resolution has passed at a time in which there are still survivors of the genocide.
will be able to see that the Senate acknowledges one thing that's